Hello folks and welcome to today's vlog. Stop right there, we have a cliffhanger to resolve. I didn't go to game in the middle of the night to pick up her game because when I came in from my stream, she was fast asleep and hadn't left the games out for me. I thought that meant I got away with it. Alas, no, here we are in the centre of Peterborough to pick up the game as we take her on her way to having her hair painted. Well, they're, they're the vague details, aren't they? That's the fun for today. I told him to wake me up because I was up the night before at half past three. I sent you a series of text messages Kept trying to wake you up. I even took a night. picture of you sleeping yeah. to show you that you were asleep. Because so I knew she'd argue in the morning and say, I wasn't sleeping, I heard everything you said. <laughs> well, here's a photo of me trying to wake you up and you were asleep. Oh, well, I realise that intro might have been a little bit confusing to anyone who hasn't been watching the recent videos. Um, Anna asked me to go to midnight launch. I kind of didn't, so we're buying the game now. Far Cry 5, for those of you taking notes. Happy now? Well, I should have had it 13 hours ago. Yeah, but if I'd have come and fetched it for you, you wouldn't have had all the fun of flirting with the man in the shop. <laughs> so, you know, there's, there's pluses and minuses to it. But you have your game. I do. Splendid. Splendid. I managed to stay away for a year but I'm back playing Pokemon Go. Me and Anna are sat outside her uni. We've just taken the gym. I realise most of you now think I'm talking to you from 2016, but um, it's quite good fun. You're gonna go and get your hair painted. Well, three minutes. Psh, I've got places to be. I've got games to play. So have I, I've got work to do. I've got to go and get a battery for my Pokemon Go Plus. Looks like work. I'll just swap them over. Leave your bag in the car, I'll take <laughs> it easy. I need my bag. Mm. Look who's home! Hello? Yeah. Have you had a good day? Yeah. Yeah? What did you do? We're going to Ola. Yeah, what did you do at school today? Anything fun? Yeah. I know he did some more cooking. He's made another pizza on a piece of bread. Do you want to eat your pizza? Yeah. I don't suppose you know where I need to send my camera for repair, do you? Mm. If anyone knows how, where, why, what I need to do to get my big camera sent away for repair. I've had the dispatch not notification from Jessup's today that my new medium camera has been dispatched. So fingers crossed that's gonna be here Wednesday or Thursday. I want it before the weekend. If I, if I have that to take away with me this weekend, that would be ideal. So it's now time to send the big one away to get the audio jack repaired on it. I'm just, I can't work it out on Canon's website. If anyone has any experience with getting a Canon camera repaired, directly with Canon, or if you happen to live locally to me and you know somewhere where I can actually take it in. We don't really have a camera shop in Peterborough. The nearest Jessup's is Cambridge or Nottingham. I don't really fancy those trips, especially if I've then got to go there again to pick it up after it's repaired. And uh, yeah, it's given me a bit of air. He seems fine though, which is good. Rather conveniently, if you ask me, Anna's haircut is finishing just after the uh, the college buses would leave that she'd normally come home on so we're having to get our shoes on get ready to go again we're gonna go and get mummy aren't we yeah so yeah in the bucket even no we're gonna go and get her from mummy's school mm -hmm. so we're gonna go and get her now um, get pizza. yes we're going to peter to go and get her my new camera's been dispatched i'm hoping it's going to be here for the weekend so fingers crossed and i know people keep telling me it's not an issue it's an issue for me because i hear it <laughs> fingers crossed We've only got a day or two left of dodgy sound and this like white balance thing that takes for ages to fix and the autofocus that takes forever. Just the general moans and gripes that I have with this camera. That was perfect timing. Good work camera. Anna's expecting us in five minutes. We're still 10, 15 minutes away. And because it's rush hour time. I mean, Andy's pretty happy about this situation. I'm not so much. Think it's coming from this way, Andy? Yeah. What train is it going to be? White. I can't actually get you because you're hanging out the window. We think it's coming from the right, do we? Yeah. Okay. I think I can hear it. Of course, this is the one time I've only brought one camera with me. Normally, I'd have the GoPro facing front. We could have this camera on him. We could cut back and forth between the two. But oh no, Kev didn't think he needed his GoPro for this journey. Silly, silly Kev. Goodness me. There's not even any Pokemon around here. 
I might have to delete this app. There you go. Is that good? Hello. I thought your hair was going to be yellow. Caramel. I see. I know you can't yeah, see Yeah, I'm still colour blind. <laughs> it hasn't cured my colour blindness, but I'm sure it looks delightful. It does look delightful. Um, let us know down in the comments what you think about his new hair, unless you don't like it, in which case shut your face. There's a raid going on here at the moment. I don't really know what a raid is. is that what that one is? I think so. Um, I'm booked in for a non-surgical facelift. A what? <laughs> what? A non-surgical facelift. What on earth is a non-surgical facelift? I don't know, but I'm going to have one. Let us know if you think Anna needs a facelift. Look, the one look. The most common comment you get mm. is that no one can believe you're in your 30s. You still get ID'd buying booze. You are the last person in the world who needs a facelift. Yeah, but oh, my, yeah. your, mine are deeper than yours. Yeah, I'm younger than you. Considerably younger. I'm a YouTuber. I'm like 23. But you're barely in your 30s. <laughs> you look like you're still in your 20s. Kevin, I found a grey hair the other day. And a yeah, it wasn't eyebrow. growing out of your face. Like mine are, Mine was in my eyebrow and then in my <laughs> hairline. It's not happy. You are a nutcase. It's only a tenner. And then I get 10% off. She's going to end up in hospital. This is going to be the story for the next six months of the vlog. <laughs> Anna's recovery from the disaster that was her non-surgical facelift. She's going to have chemical burns all over her face and whatever else. I'm sure they do a skin test before. Mm, I can't have face. it done now because they shut next week. So I won't be having it done for like at least a month. Because mm. they're off next week and week after. Let us know down in the comments mm. if you think this sounds like a good idea. Well, I don't have to go. But... <laughs> It was how I got him out of the house. He wasn't expecting to have to go and pick Anna up. Neither was I. So his reward was we would come to the church afterwards. Um, second piece of exciting news today, in addition to the camera being dispatched thing, I think, what's Anna laughing at? She's just chuckling away to something that I've said that's apparently hilarious. Um, but the second piece of news is that we're going to be in the paper, specifically the Evening Standard, the London Evening Standard. Hopefully we'll be able to get a hold of this one, um, unlike the Nottingham one, we never did get a hold of a copy of the paper. But I'm asking you now to be on the alert if you see a copy of the Evening Standard. I don't know how often it comes out, presumably every evening, but keep an eye out for us in it. And if you see us in it one day, hopefully we'll get some notice of when we're in it, Please, 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 could somebody down in London buy an extra copy and post it to us, to the P.O. box. I'll reimburse you for it happily, um, but we really want to have a copy of it. But they're doing a feature on World Autism Day, which is April the 2nd. We are in Autism Awareness Week, but World Autism Day is on the 2nd of April. And as part of that, they're doing a feature on us. Well, not a feature on us, it's a feature on that, and we're featured in that. So they just asked for like a couple of quotes. There might be a picture of Andy or something. I don't know to what extent they're gonna be part of this, but I had to do a little mini interview today. So that's exciting too. Was the church good? Yeah. It'll be open another day, I think, yeah. Where are we going now? Home. We're going home? Yeah. Let's see. Just sang the get my hair on the camera song, so let's do a full twirl. I can't see any grey, but then I wouldn't notice if there was any. Yeah. Well, we'll call it a day there on today's vlog, and I think we'll call it a day on season three of the vlog. I think tomorrow is as good a day as any to finally launch season four of the daily vlog. That's right, even when we do these little bonus things like doing the revision videos or doing, I don't know, a specific standalone video, within reason, there's still going to be a vlog coming out daily. I think I missed the channel missed having a vlog out last week on days where we did the live stream, where we did the uh, where we did the revision guide stuff. I do listen. We're gonna get the vlog out every day. Um, I'll still, if there's one that's really, really, really Andy or autism focused, it will still have a blue border. But by and large, 
it'll be daily vlogs with a yellow border um, to signify that it's a daily vlog and then if it's something else that's more specific they'll have a different colour border so um, season four starts tomorrow and we have got a cracking first week or so of content coming up for season four of the vlog it's the perfect time to start it because um, tomorrow will be the start of the season four party then I've got a day in Cambridge setting something up for another speaking thing that I'm doing which I've, I'm pretty sure I've told you about if I haven't I'll tell you all about it on what it be Friday's vlog based on my day in Cambridge on Thursday and then on Friday we're having our version of Easter because Saturday I'm at Insomnia in Birmingham um, and then Sunday I've got the Football Manager Esports thing in Birmingham that potentially rolls over into Monday as well and then I want to do the a Vader thing vlog every day in April you might remember I did it back in August a vlog every day in August where you just get a little vlog topic every day and I'm going to do that as well so there'll always be a little bit of something for us to just have a two or three minute chat about at some point in the vlog as well just to keep even the little chats a little bit more focused than they can be at times it's going to be a cracking couple of moments I want to make this season a little bit shorter and a little bit snappier than season four was the first two seasons were 100 episodes each give or take and that's what we're aiming for this time a good solid run of something completely awesome between now and probably July August time and then we we go again with season five I guess so the the front page will get shuffled around a little bit to reflect that but other than that there will be no more changes now for a little while all the changes that needed to be done have been done. I'm much, much happier with the state of the channel now than I was three weeks ago. And we are all geared up and set for an awesome couple of months of hopefully some explosive growth. That's what we're looking for. Explosive growth. If you have enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily vlogs. Thank you very much for watching.